Not long ago, I was looking for ways to spice up my Twitch overlays when I'm streaming. And one of the things that I ran across and I wanted to try out, which I've been using ever since, is called a spectralizer. And this is simply uh, for my overlay. This is what my overlay looks like for my just chatting scene. I wanted to spice it up a little bit, so I threw on this spectralizer, which is a responsive waveform pattern, waveform pattern that responds to my voice and music. So when I'm talking or when I'm playing music on the stream, people can see basically a visual representation of the sound waves that are coming into the stream. So people have been asking me since then, how do you set it up? What settings do you use? How do I get this on my OBS? So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to get a spectralizer into OBS and you can start using it with your overlays today. Now before you add a spectralizer to your stream overlays, first thing you're going to need is some type of overlay, right? Some kind of look or feel for your Twitch stream or your YouTube stream. So if you're sitting here wondering, well, okay, how do I do that? I'm not a graphic designer. That's where the sponsor of this video, Placeit, comes in. Now you may be asking, what is Placeit? Well, Placeit has thousands of mockups and templates for stream overlays, Twitch panels, logos, merch, YouTube end screens, animations, and so much more. Once you find the template you're looking for, you can customize colors, text, and other elements to make the perfect design creation. After that, download it and it's completely yours to use however you want with full commercial license. Instead of spending hundreds of dollars on design work, you can purchase a monthly or yearly subscription to place it and get unlimited downloads. Just use my 15% off discount link in the description below. So check out Placeit, you guys. Get everything you need taken care of graphic-wise. And if you use the link in the description of this video, you'll save that 15%. So once you get your overlays set up, either from Placeit or you've already got overlays or whatever, and you're ready to add the spectralizer, what do you do? Well, the very first thing we need to do is go over to Google and type in OBS plugins. This is actually an OBS plugin that you're going to be using. So once you do that, uh, you're going to go to the OBS plugin website that pops up it should be like one of the first things that pops up under the Google search so click there so it's gonna take you over to the OBS forums and here there's a bunch of different plugins that people have created for OBS and uh, lots of cool stuff in here I encourage you to check through all of these different options and see if there's anything else you'd like to add to your stream but if you'll go over to I believe it's page four as of the recording of this video anyway on page four you scroll down and you'll see this this plugin called spectralizer right here and uh, this is the little logo they have for it it's literally called spectralizer and if you look over here at the time of the recording of this video it's got 212,000 downloads so there's a lot of people using this plugin and it's an awesome one so you're going to click on the plugin it's going to take you over to a little bit more information about the plugin and uh, and that sort of thing what all it can do and there's a video down here if you want to see how to do a manual installation of uh, of the spectralizer by putting the actual zip file within the OBS file on your computer and things like that but there's a much easier way to do it this is only if for some reason this next way doesn't work for you come in here and watch this video it'll show you exactly what to do but what we're gonna do is a lot easier we're gonna scroll up here to the top and go to go to download we're gonna click on that and it's gonna take us over to the uh, the github place where they have the the download files right so we're gonna scroll down here and you're gonna see all these different download files for this plugin and you're looking for whichever operating system you use so in my case I have a Windows operating system so I'm gonna look down here until I find the uh, installer for Windows exe and if you're on Linux you look for the Linux version if you're on uh, you know Mac then you're gonna go down to the Mac but uh, we're gonna go to Windows exe you're gonna click the exe file and it's going to ask you to download this onto your computer. And once I've located the file that I'm going to download it to, I'm going to go ahead and click on the exe file and open it up. Now it's going to bring up the installer. You're going to hit yes on the installer. It's going to ask you about all the license information. You say next. Next, it's going to ask you where you want to install this plugin. And in this case, uh, it's going to automatically bring in our OBS Studio folder. So we're going to leave it there and hit next. And it'll say this folder already exists. We'll say yes. Go ahead. Uh, browse Spectralizer. We're going to leave it as that name. Hit next. Next again and install. Once it's finished installing, you'll hit finish. And uh, next thing you want to do is actually restart your OBS if it's already open. We're going to go ahead and close this down and restart it here. And now we're back in OBS. And the 
basically the spectralizer is good to go uh the only thing you have to do to add it to your actual overlay is go down here and hit this little plus button and the plus button is going to bring up all of your different you know um you know browser sources and all these things that you can input as a source into obs right and if you'll notice spectralizer is now on here as an option so i'm going to click on that and i'm going to hit create new spectralizer we're going to hit ok and now we have the bars in here that will literally be reacting to our audio, right? They're going to be reacting to our audio. So the first thing we have to do to get this thing working is go down to audio source and we're going to select the audio source that we want to use. And in this case, we're going to select our mic. Now, this is the audio source from the mic input that we have into this computer right now. So you, what you're seeing is a visual representation of what I'm saying right now live. Next thing we're going to do is uh, you can add filters. I would leave this to none, but you can play around with the filters. There's a uh, like a monster cat and an SGS filter. Not real sure what they do, to be honest, but you can play around with them and figure it out. Uh, the other thing you can do is you can actually select what the color of these little bars is. So in my case, I chose red, uh, but you can really choose whatever you want it to be. Uh, I'm just going to go with red so that we can, you know, see what it looks like compared to my actual widget. Um, and then it's going to ask you about the bar width. Now I'm going to bring up the spectralizer on my other computer and I'm going to go through all the settings that I use in order to get it to look the way that it does because a lot of people ask me how to do that. Basically what we're going to do is the first thing we want to do is, is select our pixel width of each bar. Now if you make this go up it's going to basically uh you know change the the bar width of each one of the bars. If you make it go down it's going to change the bar width down and it's going to make them smaller and smaller skinnier and skinnier until they're really 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 skinny right so we're going to leave that at five which is where it was by default but then on the bar height we're going to change that to 75 pixels i actually have mine to 75 so we're going to go down to 75 i'm going to actually use this and then for the bar spacing we're going to put that at zero pixels and this is going to give us a nice like smooth complete solid color with just the peaks of each one of these bars bouncing up and down here so once we've done that i'm kind of looking at my other side screen here to see what else i did <laughs> uh we're going to enable automatic scaling which is already turned on and then we're going to leave gravity at 80 we like that uh we are going to turn on log logarithmic i think it's called that's how you say it logarithmic frequency scale we're going to turn that on we're going to go down here and it's going to ask you what hertz or what frequency do you want to use so we're going to go to 64.7 that's what i use so i'm going to drag this all the way to 64.7 Okay, so we're at 64.7. And then for the uh, the HPF log scale, we're going to go down to 20, which is already set. So we got 20 on there. Uh, and then we're going to change the bins. And this is where it's going to really start looking good. We're going to change the bins to 112 bins. So I'm just going to go in here. I don't think, can I type it in? Okay, you can't type it in. So we're actually going to just hold the, the up arrow down until we get to 112 and 112 is going to really give us the look that we had on our original um our original overlay that i showed you guys okay there's 112 and now this is going to be a lot it's going to be a lot smoother a lot more low key it's going to just show you the peaks of your voice or the music that you're playing that sort of thing and uh and i really like the way this looks it's actually a really really good look now once we get all that done we're gonna hit okay and you'll notice on OBS that here is our spectralizer and you can make this as big as you want or as little as you want, that sort of thing. I do recommend uh, actually bringing up a music player of some sort and turning on some, some music with like a, a bunch of bass and a lot of high end and things like that because it's going to give you a different frequency range to see what it actually looks like. So once you get this all set up, uh, you're going to drag this around, put it wherever you want it. If you want it on an overlay, like, like right above an overlay, you can uh, attach it like I did. I put mine right on top of my... Uh, my actual you know webcam border so now it looks like it's just coming out of the ground and what i could do is if i got the exact color code for this uh this bar down here i could actually call uh copy that color and put it on the spectralizer up here and then it would look like that bar is just jumping to my voice which is a really cool feature uh and, and that's kind of how i used it as well as i'm gonna head and put um let me bring this back up on the screen here there it is uh, I went ahead and put the, you guys can see, I, I put the, the spectralizer right on top of, and used the same color, by the way, right on top of my widget, and then it looks like the actual widget itself, the color of the widget is what's bouncing. And so that's how I use it. You can use it however you want, though. Uh, there's all kinds of different ways to um, to use the spectralizer, but uh, it just allows you a little bit more flexibility and kind of spice up your stream a little bit. You can even uh, do cool things, like for instance, if I bring up the spectralizer yet again, 
Uh, there's also a cool way down here. Let me see if I can find it. Uh, there's also a stereo option. So for instance, if you want it to, to double up and go up and down at the same time, you can turn on the stereo option and then you can, uh, you can update like how much space are between both of them. And you could put this on either side of your overlay if you wanted to and have actual, um, you know, actual, you know, bouncing waveforms on both sides of text or something like that. So really cool ways you can use this. Play around with it, you guys, but it's that simple. Once you get it all added, you're done. Uh, you hit OK. I'm actually going to take off the um, stereo. We're just going to leave it mono like that. Take that off, get it put into your OBS however you like, and you now have a spectralizer. It's that simple, you guys. Very cool feature and a cool way to kind of spice up your overlays, uh, but it doesn't take a lot, of, a lot of setup time. It's really just downloading it and and then it automatically adds it to OBS. Make sure you close OBS and reopen it so that it'll show up on that list. If it's not there after the download, you probably had OBS open, so you just need to shut it down. Um, and you're good to go. Play around with it. Make something cool, make something unique to your stream, and use it as a way to kind of enhance and make your overlays a little bit more interactive. But if you like this video, guys, make sure you smack the thumbs up button for me. I would greatly appreciate that. And of course, if you wanna know when more videos like this go live, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. I would greatly appreciate it, and we would love to have you in the community. On top of that if you'd like to come check out my twitch stream at twitch.tv slash eagle garrett i would love to have you you can come ask me questions over there talk about any of these videos or just shoot the breeze and hang out while we play some video games and have a good time you can also hang out with us on our discord at discord.gg slash flock we've got a huge community over there and we would love to have you be a part and last but not least i'm on all the social medias twitter instagram uh tiktok you name it we're there check those out hit me up on twitter because that's the one i use the most but uh, i would love to have you in the community there as well with that being said you guys until the next video as always rock on peace out god bless and last but not least we're gonna go ahead and fly on home it's about that time about that time look at this thing it's gonna respawn right as i'm right as i'm i'm fast traveling oh you can cancel it that late okay this big node is gonna respawn right when it's too late to re oh my gosh i was right did you guys see that this node respawned right as I was trying to fast travel. If I hadn't canceled a minute ago, I would have missed this node right here. I would have missed the larger chunk. Oh my gosh, that worked out perfectly. All right, it makes me think we need to do... Oh, we got Tolvium out of it. 